to my channel La La's Land. So I have for you guys today a video on my top five favorite planning items and my top five favorite crafting items. So this is a collab video that I'm hosting and I'm doing this with my girl Cruising with Crystal and also Teresa Plans previously Teresa Branham. So they are two awesome chicks who also like to craft and plan. So I thought this would be so much fun for us to show you guys our top five in each category. So remember at the end of this video, look in the description box below and check out their channels. So I'm going to start off with my crafting items first. I'm going to save the best for last and I'm more of a planner babe than a crafting babe. So I'm going to show you guys my crafting items first. So the first item that I want to show you guys that I like to use in my craft are paper pads. Now this particular paper pad is from the Dollar Tree, but I do love to incorporate paper um, paper from paper pads in my crafting. Most of the crafting that I do is paper crafting, so it makes sense that I would use uh, paper in it. So paper pads are a big one for me. Another item that I love to use in my crafting is yep glitter you guys know i love everything it's glittery and shiny and i just love glitter particularly my holographic silver holographic glitter but i love all glitter so i love to do crafting that involves me being able to glitter something with mod podge um, and things of that nature so glitter is definitely on my top five crafting items my third crafting item favorite would be the e6000 these happen to be the smaller ones but i also have a big tube of it around here E6000 glue is awesome. It bonds amazingly. It really does hold. And so if you guys have never used E6000, definitely give it a shot. Now it does take a little bit longer to dry than my next item, but E6000 is amazing. My next favorite crafting item is going to be my trusty hot glue gun. She is small, but she is mighty. Um, I don't even know where I got this from. It's from EK Tools, so it might be from Michaels. Um, but I absolutely love it. This is not one of the big high powered uh, glue guns as you can see. She's a little one, but she comes in very, very handy. And I can use the Dollar Tree glue stick, stick her right in there, and she works awesome. My final favorite crafting item to use are the Sharpie paint pens. Now this happens to be just one in my favorite color pink, but I have them in all sorts of colors. I love Sharpie paint pens because sometimes I might want to paint something and I don't want to have to break out an actual thing of acrylic paint in a paintbrush. If you have something small that you want to use in crafting, these paint pens are awesome. And as you can see, that's what exactly what they say. They are a Sharpie paint pen. I've gotten these on clearance at Michaels and Walmart and I mean they sell them everywhere. They're not that expensive. You can buy them single, you can buy them in groups. So if you've never used a Sharpie paint pen, then I don't know, you must be living under a rock. Hey okay, guys, but I now, really love them. My top planning items. So obviously, number one is gonna have to be the happy planner. It's gonna have to be the planners. I said top five planning items. So maybe a happy planner is not your favorite, but the happy planner is my favorite planner. I love the happy planner. These are just two of the five that I have, and I absolutely adore happy planners. I have tried using other planners like a recollection. I've used um, Erin Condren and I've also used another one. I don't even know if it had a name, but I just didn't like the way it was set up. I didn't feel inspired to decorate it. And so for me using my planner, decorating my planner inspires me and it makes me want to write in it. So I need a planner that inspires me to decorate it. So I will use it. So the happy planner, that's the bee's knees for me. My second favorite planning item that I love to use are a good pen and not just any pen. These are the Paper Mate Flare pens. I am in love with these pens. These are my most favorite pens to write with. You can see they come in an array of colors. Um, I bought these at Walmart and I mean for a pen for me they're pretty pricey to me but I love writing with them, so I will pay for them. And they even have other colors that I don't have. I've got to get them. But Paper Mate Flare Pens. I'm going to just kind of see if I can get in closer for you guys to see it. Paper Mate Flare. These pens are awesome. I use those pens to do all the writing in my planners. The thing I like about them is they do not bleed through the pages. That is something that took me a while to find was a good pen that looks bright and vibrant 
and also did not bleed through the pages. So definitely if you've never tried a Paper Mate flare pen, I promise if you like if you like a good pen and you like to write in your planner and you like it to look pretty and you want it to look pop, you know, if you want the letters to pop and look nice and not bleed through, definitely check out those pens. Okay, something else that I absolutely love to have for the planner, and this is something that's new to me and is already on my top five, and this is the weekly punch, the weekly punch for um, your weekly squares. And they have a classic and there's a large so just in case you don't know what these are these are the punches for your weekly squares and your happy planner um, you know how you have the stickers that fill up the square this right here you can use paper and you can punch it into a square to fit in your happy planner so you'll just set your paper in your punch you can see there you will punch it remove your paper there's a little door here you open up and it is a perfect fit for your classic size weekly squares. Really set your spread out for the week. Can really make it pop and I absolutely love it. Then you can lay your stickers over it. And again, they make them for the classic and then I also have the one for the big one as well. And these are staples now whenever I do my spreads. I actually use them in this week's spread. So if you haven't checked that out, it's up on Instagram. Make sure you guys go and check out my weekly planner spreads. But I did use those punches in it and it really did, I feel like, I feel like it moved my spread up just a notch. I showed you washi for my crafting items, so I'm not gonna show you washi and my planner items because I don't necessarily have to always have washi, but when I have washi, there is a must that I must have, and it's a gift card. Just a gift card. I don't even know what this is to. This is to Mulligans. This is just a, a plastic gift card, and this is to help me tear the washi. I've also used it to tear stickers. I've used it to make sure I'm lining up a sticker correctly. You can do a lot with an old gift card, so make sure that you guys have checked out some of my Plan With Me's. I'll link some here and at the end of the video, and that way you can actually see how I use them in case you don't know. And last, but not least, you guys know this would not be a video about planners if I didn't give you my number one most favorite must have planner item and that's going to be happy planner stickers. Now I love all stickers. You guys know I'm a sticker connoisseur. However, happy planner stickers are amazing and I could not see myself planning in my planner without happy planner sticker books. These just happen to be the newest ones that I had sitting here, but guys, I have all of them and they're amazing. And if you've never seen the Happy Planner sticker books, again, you're living under a rock. I do have some past videos where I flip through some of these and um, some of my older sticker books. I do also have a video coming out tomorrow that's gonna have a flip through of all the new stickers and sticker books that I have from the Happy Planner line. Those are my top five favorite crafting items and my top five favorite planner items. Those are things that I use or try to always incorporate in my crafting and that I always incorporate in my planning. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget that this is a collab. So Teresa Plants and Cruising with Crystal, they've also made videos and they're gonna share with you their top five crafting and their top five planning items as well. And that way you can see if maybe there's some things you've never heard of, maybe some things you've never seen, and some things you'd like to try out. So I want to thank Teresa and Crystal for doing this collab with me. I really appreciate you guys. And I also want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Remember, if you like the video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It helps me as well as my channel. And also, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you as part of my friends and family here on YouTube. And as always, I truly appreciate every single one of you. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.